Hello everyone, Adrian here, another company of to replay. So on the north side, as the OGW player, we have Italopreneura, I think. I have no idea how to pronounce names whatsoever. I can pronounce this one, Revolution, as the UKF player. Be a doctrinal locket of elite armor, so most of the will see a 2-2-2-2-1 earlier rather than later. Potential doctrine lock-ins. Hmm. Royal Engineer is quite potential. Royal Artillery. I don't really see that being a good idea. Especially versus OKW. Unless he goes for a lot of likes, but I don't see that. Mobile Assault. Depends how aggressive he places his HQs for the land mattresses. Other than that, I would probably say Royal Engineer Regiment may be his best doctrine uh, lock-in. Three infantry sections, no vicars, or at least not one just yet. And we do actually have a doctrine lock in of the Royal Artillery Regiment. Squad, I would generally disagree with that on. I only really see that uh, being super useful on uh, 2v2s and up, not exactly 1v1s. Some pioneers will get some nice damage in. Should have stood there and fight, but especially when you cross that, oh, there's no negative ground there. While most uh, maps have roads have negative ground, there wasn't any there. And this retreating way is a bit unusual, I'd say. He's loose, getting some damage in, he's trying to get that heavy cover. But personally, I would have stood there and fight. At least, maybe fall back to this light cover here and then fight, but... Does um, manage to avoid the engagement. The second squad of infantry sections will be coming forward. He should send one over here, one over here, in order to help uh, get some uh, fire with maximum distance between the two squads. Does not finish the capture there. We've got another squad of infantry section there. That Stone Pioneer squad just should retreat back. Does drop one of the models, but nothing huge. Revogan is. Going around capture points, you go nothing get all over on the left side to contest with them as well. So overall, the Okinawa player will probably have better map control. Most grenadiers behind the heavy cover here, as well as light cover here. Focus firing is a good idea. Does it is now starting to focus fire there? This squad it's a force of withdrawal, but this squad is flanked by this infantry section here. No chance of him getting that wipe door. Yeah, unlikely anyways. I thought he he was thinking about it, but decides not to. We got a 2-2-1 two, two, out on the build queue, so we were eyeing for some aggression. The 2-2-1 doesn't have a whole lot of health unless it's upgraded with the 2-2-3 two, two, package. A lot of sandbags coming out, so there's going to be plenty of heavy cover for both sides. There's still there's plenty of room for this uh, sandbags right there. A lot of defensive positions have been initiated. We do got the Kubelwagen now capturing up even that munitions point, so the OKW player is on both munitions. Well, not huge importance for OKW. It's always nice to have. 22-1 is now moving on forward, does force back one of the squads. Two two one is eyeing to engage these intersection, but they're playing ring around the rosy. I don't think I've really seen that with that before with the two two one. The two two one has the same quite a bit damage. Of Royal, the Stone Pioneers are designated to repair it. Perhaps we'll wait till he's out of combat to do that. Wagon is engaging some intersections, but it was forced to fall back. idea to get in nice close range. The Volksgrenadiers can do a little bit better at close range. What do we have for upgrades? Hood does have enough fuel for the bolster squads, but amount of squads he has on the field, five, that would be actually a significant buff. So I would eye that first. He should save up his munitions for his doctrine. 
So, yeah, five-man squad all the way. We got some true mines being laid on down. Very nice. We also have a Vikend from the build queue. How assume there's going to be an AEC, but does have AEC research, so maybe I need to actually get one. Ashu Mine's being laid on down. He may have spotted that. Kukovagen sustaining quite a bit of damage, is forced to fall back. We do get the battle group HQ, so we'll have healing for all of the squads. There's a lot of infantry sections here. So they're taking their time to, to de-garrison that booty. Could potentially lose if he hops in the garrison. Does not lose it. We do have the... Nice. So, uh, wiring off the sandbags we built. Then we just need some more sandbags and some more wire. Then more sandbags and more wires. And to the point where it covers the entire map. Pretty far forward of repairing that Kubelwagen, but nothing to air to help uh, in order to kill it off. He's eyeing for the UKF players, so eyeing to push this over here. Does decapture that point, but once these guys start comes around the corner, he's going to need to follow them back. We do have an AEC on the field. There is a lot of shoe mines on the field, but they can be triggered by the infantry. And the squad of Volksgarden there is very necessary based on the number of infantry sections he's fighting. So he potentially could have saved up and got some Obosadotsen, which may have been a better option, but that would be delaying it for any more squads by a significant amount. AEC does move on forward, does get one penetrating shot there, no shoe mines in the area. And there goes the 2 2 1. They do quite a bit of work. Rolls a miss right there, but now the AEC, it's a bit of dead weight. Can't even engage too many squads. Not super great versus infantry, and for all the snares around, not going to accomplish all too much. A six pounder may have been a better option than the AEC. The 221 is not a high threat item, it's really a low threat item. Warranting the AEC? Not really. Piet actually may have been the best option. Have Piet's on a Royal Engineer squad and then uh, just hunt down the 2-2-1. Two, two, uh, the 221 doesn't take a, have a whole lot of health. Lucy and Cinder right there, which will pack away some damage. Won't win the engagement for him, but he will have these reinforcing Volkskrind here to win the engagement. AC trying to engage the... Uh, oh. The cannon whip is just bugging out. I think he, uh, directional move order, but it was dancing around. It was body block. We got a nice shot there. Main gun destroyed, but nothing to air in order to kill it off. Still no bolster. Bolster will be a critical upgrade for the UKF player at this moment. The amount of squads that will benefit from it, seven squads, will pan out. Big time. We do got a UKF mine right there. Let's pull the mine sweeper right there, so he does he could potentially could sweep the mine. This shoe mine has not been detected, nor this shoe mine. I'm surprised those shoe mines have haven't been uh it, because that's in a pretty common area to move around. But yeah, here we got more sandbags for the uh, wire. Oh, there we go, we got the five-man squad. Now he has a huge advantage. He has a huge infantry advantage, as well as vehicle advantage, as minor as the vehicle is. Good usage of capturing behind the lines with his royal. Oh, found landmine. Won't be able to win the engagement, but 
you at least would be able to afford away that squad. Losing two models is actually quite significant. Oh, looks like the EEC has found one of the shoe mines. But the mechanic warfare in the air cannot engage it. There's too many uh, infantry sections. If you got a sure pants headquarters out on the field, I definitely would recommend one to two squads of Zalots and facing the number of infantry sections fighting. Look at that, he sees five infantry sections in one area. We do have the uh, answer authorization here, so now the munitions as well as this neutral point are now secure for the foreseeable future. Though it did cost a bit of manpower, it just needs. He just needs more units out on the field. The MG-34 is a good start. This Kubelwagen in the life has been quite important. It allowed him to capture up all these points. And just have one extra capturing, capping squad versus the amount of units he's fighting is quite important. Looks like we do have a Minesweeper now on one of the Royal Engineers, which is a very good idea. Good preemptive, a good preemptive uh, six pounder, but he's far away from actually having any good time to use it. Unless he's going to try to push the uh, Hero Panzer quarters, but that's unlikely. It's pretty far back and a very safe position, and the uh, Royal Engineers could uh, repair it while in combat. So I don't see that six pounder being all too effective anytime soon. Uwe has the same one shot there, but we do got a Vikenworth shot in return. Heavy cover providing excellent uh, protection against the suppression. The ADC should just have prioritized uh, fire off. He, he's unaware of any vehicles excluding the Kubelwagen. Well, the AEC gun, AEC's main gun's not super great, but at this point, oh, he is going to eye the pressure the the Shira Panzer Cortis and fresh Obsidian awesome just came out. He immediately upgrades him, starting to upgrade them with the LMG. Now knows what his opponent's planning. The uh, the power techniques will, of course, allow for some spotting of the Shear Panzer Quarters, plus the firing of it as well. One shot there. We do got the flares being thrown in as well for spotting. Stone Pioneers eyeing for a flank. Either flanking or repairing is his best option, but it does ward away the six pounder, even though there's a lot of guys here for fire support. Throws out bundle. Does scratch the uh, suppress squad, but that's about it. MG34 is also set up in the area, so he does have quite a bit of suppression. But this blob of intersections. It's its a blob. So the cannon whiffer rolled a miss, and now there's all these intersections. He needs to retreat back. There's no way he can uh, destroy that uh, AEC at that rate. We will, in fact, see a snare. Oh, no, we don't. Overall, so quite good field control by the UKF player, but only have a small ticket lead, not a huge amount. So this game could still go either way. does have the company command post, but this rate, the Panzer IV will come out first, I believe. I believe a Panzer IV would be his best option. Dome Tiger possible, but 
the Panther, he needs anti-infantry as well as anti-vehicle, so the Panzer IV will probably be his best option, not the Jagdpanzer, to say at least, or the Panther. Definitely not the Panther. You have this squad trying to skirt around. The Sheer Panzer Quarters can protect the flank of the MG34. He's eyeing for the flares. He does throw up the flare. He can repair, and after each round fires, he can fall back, then go back in and hit it with more wrench hits. The vision's uh, no longer in the air, so there's going to be a widespread. He has to be very careful with the Shroom Pioneers. Osatsen engaging the AEC. The Ken Ruffer is setting up. And there goes the Storm Pioneer. There goes an infantry section as well as the AEC could potentially go down as well. We've got another Sturm Pioneer on the build queue, a very necessary option. He needs something to repair that HQ. The Wolfwagen's still alive, so he's providing quite a bit of uh, captain support. So what actually maybe one of the key items keeping the OKW playing this game, because he's fighting out against a lot of infantry, though wiping out one the infantry section is quite important. And he's been focusing the Shira Panzer quarters a bit too much. He could easily avoid him. He's trying to destroy it to just deny teching, but he's so far been quite unsuccessful. He should try eyeing for the uh, other two VP. He has a lot of infantry to use for that. If you want to press the HQ, you may need to invest into a second AT gun. We do got a Cromwell out on the build queue. There is enough fuel for the Panzer IV, but he needs some more manpower. Ooh, the Kubelwagen's almost went down. Those of haven't done all too lot, but... Hmm, good ambush. Get behind this hedge, throw a bundle. Let's spot that other infantry section, however. Nothing near to, help, to prevent a decap at that point. There are some Royal Engineers in the AEC, but minor things. We do got the Panzer IV in the build queue. Most likely we'll be eyeing for the Panzer Commander upgrade and the heat rounds help support against versus the Cromwell. The heat rounds, of course, increase the damage. Enough so a three shot a vehicle rather than four shot a vehicle. New machine gun crew ready and waiting. We got a Vickers now help him secure these points. Uh, Going for a snare, but won't accomplish all too much. Let's get the model that hit the flare, or throughout the flare, but that's about it. The cannon woofer now rotating over, but has to be very careful of positioning. On the flare, while it doesn't snare the vehicle and doesn't make any engagement for, for his Panzer IV any easier, but if you can get a second uh, snare, that would be ideal, because. Well, then it will be snared. Well, generally the Panzer IV would win a 1v1 fight versus the Cromwell. The A E A E C is here to support. Mills Bomb has actually been researched. And the Panzer IV has some spot. The Panzer Commander upgrade is almost complete. It is completed. And... It's likely a dead Volksgrindir. I'm sort of surprised that Volksgrindir did not go down. Panzer IV now rotating on over. Does pitch a shot into the infantry section. AEC ready to engage. 
AEC could draw a shot away from the Cromwell. And rolls a miss as well. One penetrating shot there. And we do got heat rounds being engaged, so he only needs to get two more shots in the Cromwell and that's down. Ah, uh, rolls a big miss there. Actually, it splashed the AEC a, a significant amount. Vigor's now set on up, starting to suppress these Volksgrenadiers. Looks like he actually attacked, moved onto that building, pitching some shots in. Panzer Commander could potentially throw in a barrage there. It is relatively cheap at 80 munitions. He does pitch it in. UK FF player does have a lead about a hundred, well, a little less than a hundred tickets. So the UK FF player does have more time to stall. We've got a second Cromwell out on the field. So most likely a second Panzer IV will be acquired. Or a Panther. Don't really see the Yag Panzer being all too great, but it can potentially be, can potentially do some good as well. The reason why I don't see Yag Panther is because Cromwell, AEC, they're very mobile. The, the Yag Panzer prefers something a bit more... Less mobile. We could potentially get another squad of Oves at Altson as well. Does throw an incendiary grenade there, and a Mills bomb in return, and it sort of splashed his own unit a bit. Panzer IV is fully repaired. I need to engage the entry section. There is the six pounder that has been built quite some time ago. Armwell AEC. There goes the Kubelwagen. Six pounder set on up with a sure line of sight. Line of sight blocker is preventing it from getting engagement. Balancing thanks to the uh, superior armor of the Panzer IV, does roll some misses with the heat round. Six pounder set on up, does get a nice rear armor shot right there. And we also got the engine snare from the AEC, does get two hits. Main gun destroyed, main gun destroyed. Ah, he got the second penetrating hit, which means it immobilized it temporarily. Faust bug into the wreckage. Oh, the worst possible time for the Faust bug. It collided with the wreckage. That Faust, uh, if it would have connect, potentially could have gone uh, make the AEC go down to the uh, the Kettenwerfer. It would take quite two shots. Those throw a smoke round. He's going to eye with the flare, but he's lacking munitions for it, so he should just stay back. There's enough uh, fuel now for the Panzer IV. He does have two Vikanwerfer, so Panzer IV will probably be his best option. Don't I don't think the Sturm Tiger would be his best option, but it is possible. Six pounder force fire in the ground. Volksgrandir potentially could go down. Again, we're for rolling it the wrong way. Went too far forward through the line of sight block. It was an A move forward. Should just stay right there. Does throw out a nice smoke. That can wait for does not pitch in any shots, but this does get a penetrating hit there. Oops, Austin now at Vegetal C2. Does throw out a bundle grenade. They're very stacked up thanks to the Cromwell and does prevent the capture. Drone Pioneers repairing up the Sheer Panzer quarters to full health. Looks like we will see a Sturm Tiger. Is enough for the Sturm Tiger? Nope, Panzer IV. <laughs> well, the OKW player is not in a super great position. It 
may be a good idea to save up for Panther rather than Panzer IV, something a bit more heavier for the Cromwells. I don't know. Definitely not a Sturm Tiger, though. Both of these for Cannon Warfare set up. He could go ahead and camouflage this one. That may be a good idea. We could set up in this nice, heavy cover. A very good spot for it. Armal rotates around. This Cromwell as well. Both of them are damaged. He needs to get them repaired up. Panzer IV is out in the field. Most likely go for the Panzer Commander. MG34 has been set up, but is forced to withdraw. Minesweeper, it's a good idea to have that out while moving forward just to don't want to spot any mines. But he didn't spot any. He may in fact, may in fact lose his squad. He has to be very careful. Does the capture it? Needs to retreat back now. He may have left it out to dry. He's definitely tasked over here. And there goes the Stone Piner. Does roll a miss right there. Heat round. Ah, the Vicana Whippers rolled a miss oh, as well. AEC does get some nice penetrating shots there. Does get another hit right there, but there's a lot of guys here. There's also not enough for a Gammon Bomb or a Mills Bomb. AEC does body block the Panzer IV. Does take out the AEC, but there goes the Panzer IV. Not a good trade for the OKW player. He needed that Panzer IV. At this point, it's really hard for me to say what would be the best, his best option. At this point... Panzer IV or Panther. That's about it. Maybe another replaces Vikanwerfer. He's force firing in order to destroy this uh, Vikanwerfer now. There goes, goes down. He tried to capture with the Obosadotsen right then. If he would have captured with the Obosadotsen, there was a possibility he could have easily turned on the low health Cromwell. He got some salvaging. He needs that fuel. Overall, the ticket, the VPs are in favor of the OKW player, so the game will prolong. We got a snare. The Vikanwerfer does connect this one shot away with the Vikanwerfer. Is that full health? Those throw out a smoke there, so either two Panzerfausts or a Vikanwerfer shot will take it out. And it looks like the Royal Engineers will ward away the Volksgrenadiers. He actually lost, sort of forgot about that one, and it goes down. He can't be afforded to lose squads like that. He can replace uh, the Volksgrenadier with Olbsadotsen. The UK player does have still a lot of uh, units out in the field. He does have enough for a Sexton. I don't see a Comet being a good idea. I can see a Sexton, potentially he has quite a bit of advantage. He could potentially pitch in some shots and finally destroy that thing. Or... Can't get the uh, Churchill. Churchill will be a great option. Doesn't have that available. So yeah, I really don't know. Centaur may be his best option, or another Cromwell. I really don't. I really don't know. The Okinawa player is playing the VP game, which will give him maximum stalling capability. He's going for another Panzer IV. He's need to make sure he doesn't lose it this time. He has to be very defensive, only respond to his opponent rather than engaging him. Though it's quite potential, one Vikander worth a shot. This one has not fired, doesn't get hit as well. Oops, we do have some cuts of folks here. Doesn't 
now using the snare. Body blocks of his own chromo. That's great. This one is not set on up. Those retreat back. That's a bad idea. He didn't need to do that. He retreated both of them. He could have got a chromo. This one's one shot away from death. Panzer IV on pursuit. That this is where the Panzer IV can really shine in. This one's low on health. Does snare both of them. Eight rounds engaged. One more shot and that's dead. One shot, this is dead. This Panzer IV, this is exactly what the OKW player needs. There goes one Panzer IV. Use the smoke round for this one. Not enough. He still has a heat rounds engaged. Not enough healing. Fires. Oh, the heat round went off. Let's get and receive a snare. And there goes the Cromwell. That is exactly what this OKW player needed. Now the OKW player has a really good chance to get back in the game. Though he does lack a Sturm Pioneer, but he has enough manpower for that. He's going to be fighting against a Comet, which is definitely the best response when we engage this uh, Panzer IV. He has a lot of infantry on the field. He doesn't need Cromwells or Centaurs. He needs something to engage the Panzer IVs, and with a superior uh, stats, the Cromwell is that is an excellent option. Do see a Mills Bomb there, but it does do a nice dodge, but when the models sort of act a bit stupid. MG34, I aim for that light cover in order to set on up. I personally would have gone behind heavy cover right there. Oh, I didn't realize that that six pounder, there's an explosion mark there, so I think that six pounder actually went down to a landmine. Let's throw a Mills Bomb on that MG. Does not decur it, but he should withdraw. Do both of the Cannon Warfers are setting on up. One does have Vector C1, so he can camouflage. But that's not exactly a great position for them. There's a lot of infantry running, uh, coming towards him. The OKW player could go for a Sturm Tiger at this point. He knows about the Cromwell, but does have a lot of AT. If he were, if the Cromwell were not come Cromwell Comet were to go in, be engaged by the Bekenwerfers first, and then the Panzer IV can rush it down and destroy it. But in these uh, combat blitz, the Comet thinks I'm to kill it off right here, right now. Kind of for said one of them has stopped retreating. We could potentially see a frangible smoke. But the Panzer IV will not go down. The common takes so a full health. So it does get half a level of veterancy. I think they actually did get slightly wounded by something. Could re quote unquote repair it in order to give it the emergency war speed. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. Royal Engineers will ward away these Vakenum Warfers. He won't be retreating them all too often. He needs the, to pitch and damage and comment take whenever he can. Open so that's an out of the arc of the MG. Most likely we'll see a bundle grenade. Yes, we do see the bundle grenade, but he needs a withdrawal now. Only gets one of his own models of that grenade. As of four, now fully repaired. He's approaching the fuel for a second Panzer IV, though the, oh, the UKF player has a lot of map control. He knows where this comet tank is, does pitch in a Faust, won't accomplish all too much. Oh, that was a nasty hit.
Do penetrating shots there. That is what he needs. He needs a combat blitz forward and rush him down. Another Vakanda with a shot as well. The Comet King is two shots away from death. But the Panzer Four will not pursue. He he may be worried about mines. There is enough fuel now for another Panzer IV. Both those AT gun shots did penetrate, so the Panzer IV is forced to withdraw. With an out of it, second Panzer IV is on the build queue. I was going to say that there's two AT guns. The Sturm Tiger could potentially do some good there. This mine here was spotted. That's not camouflaged. Now he he may not be aware of it though, because it blends in quite well. For Cannonball first, they're both at Vector C1. He could go ahead and camouflage them. Wait for an ambush. MG34 is set on up. Does only get two models lost to the Mills bomb. Dope's off now at Vector C5, but down the one model he needs to withdraw. Those two for Cannonball there, he could potentially go for a Sexton at this point. He has a lot of fuel, so though he may be eyeing for a second Comet. Both of them are good, but. At this point, I would say he does have two AT guns, so he has a lot of AT. I'm the build a trench in order to help uh, give him the veteran seat bonus benefit for his MG. We also do see the coordinated co concentrated fire barrage. Three shots from both the MG from both uh, howitzers as well as some airburst shells. We got the Panzer Commander upgrade for this one. Panzer Commander upgrade for this one. Oh, we do have Brents now being brought online as well. At least one squad has one Bren. Both the six pounders are eyeing the set on up. No tank in that area, and the Obsidots and Wool can easily decrew them. <clears throat> Definitely sees one of the AT guns right there. But Canada Warfare does get a nice shot onto the uh, Comet tank. This Panzer IV is doing some great work on that uh, infantry section. Both these AT guns are setting on up where the last known location of the Panzer IV. But now he knows there's two Panzer IVs out on the field. Do got the uh, fire operations. This one's not set up. He's not. The Canada Warfare is not firing because it has not been deployed. Heat round does roll a balance, only increases damage and not penetration. Let's get a nice rear armor sh shot there. Both shots, one shot away from death. If he kills off that comet tank, that's quite important. And there goes the comet tank. Goes out of smoke on, on retreat, but does not. It's the wrong spot, to say the least. Using that comet tank is actually quite important. He does now just get enough manpower to replace the comet tank. Well, at this point, a Firefly may be a better option than more range. Hmm. Now may be a good time for early warning, just to get some vision. Do have the SWS half track, very far away from the King Tiger, but perhaps he's thinking about the uh, the free repairs. He is approaching pop cap, so that probably is a good idea. He does. If he doesn't reinforce everything, he does have enough room for a third Panzer IV, but that's how much uh, pop cap he has. Not really enough for another vehicle. He could go for a Stuka Zafus. That may be a good option, but the free repairs is. Probably his best option at this point. Ready. 
Old Storm Deers are forced with draw. Ooh. This Comet Tank, the uh, Panzer IV, does activate Heat Round, does eliminate that uh, Volkswagen Deer squad. Entering shots from both sides, two shots until the Comet goes down. Let's get a penetrating shot there as well. I believe that's enough damage in order of a regular shot without the heat rounds can take it out. But decides to withdraw. Probably a good idea. And do there we go. Got immediately for more repairs. He is replacing that Volkswagen Deer squad with an Oversadotson. A very good idea. This Ford HQ has been spotted. No, it's definitely meant for uh, reinforcements and immediately calls, calls in the uh, coordinated barrage. And that is a dead Ford HQ, I think. One penetrating shot there from the six pounder. Yeah, that's a dead Ford HQ. Another penetrating shot there. The other one does not have an angle and I think it may be out of range as well. Yes, it is. Six pounder does go down. The Obsid Austin has spotted the comet take now. Oh, that Panzer four. Ouch, missed the landmine there. Panzer four, one shot away from death. He does use the combat blitz out of there. This Panzer four is coming in to uh, relieve the other one. One penetrating shot there, plus fires one shot on the infantry section. Not a good idea. Counter pitches in the shot. The Buchanan Warfare's course wards away the Comet tank. And both of these Panzer fours are quite wounded, but there's free repairs, as well as Sturm Pioneers with repair with the uh, Minesweeper hazard removal for up uh, awesome area. So these guys should repair quite quickly. Do you got the concentrated fire operation? No, it's not. It's actually a flare thrown out by this squad. So now each uh, held will fire in seven shots rather than three. Nose bomb decrews the MG34. That combat tank is still making some noise. On the Panzer IV is now fully repaired on up. Now both of them are fully repaired. That's more than enough to take on the combat tank. Everything's fully reinforced, so he does have enough population cap for Sturm Tiger. At this point, I would. I would definitely get a Sturm Tiger at this point once he gets enough fuel and manpower. Sturm Tank's not fully repaired. That is very dangerous. Both six pounders are are crewed. The other one was one of them's facing the wrong direction. This one's severely wounded, but it looks like they were not targeting, and one of them did in fact bounce. This Panzer Force force withdrawal. This Panzer Four needs withdrawal as well. Straight fire barrage wipes out one of the AT guns and destroys it outright. Again, Wiffer does receive a pretty nice shot there by the Comet tank and now it's going to be forced withdrawal. And there's another good shot. And now it's right destroys the Cannon Warfare as well. Looks like he's found a nice window where the common tank cannot fire. Six pounder will is the crude tank so the old of oxen. Both the Panzer Force now moving on forward. The uh, AT gun was recruited. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Let's roll a bounce right there. Where's the Vikan Whiffer? Far away from home, needs decloaking. Start moving forward. We do got a concentrated fire operation on the other Panzer IV, but be a bit of time before the actual round starting coming on in. Ooh, that's a dead MG. And he most likely force fired. No, the howitzer's 
does nope he does force fire it. I was gonna say the hell just probably destroy it. Doki Doki player has been losing some units, surgically removed. Stukas of Foos is a great option. He knows where the forward HQ is. He has a general idea of what's where the the bunker that something may be in it, as well as where the AT gun is. Just generally around this location, so it can quickly fire a barrage once spotted and then potentially decrew. It's MG34 was actually reclaimed. There are also lots of models there as well, so it's going to be a very resilient MG team. Another bunker is being set on up. I'm interesting option. We do also got a 221 being deployed on out. Perhaps eyeing it for a 223 upgrade in order to secure some more resources. Again, Warfare does get another nice couple shots into the Comet tank. Obsolots needs to fall back out sooner rather than later. He can't be losing it. it. Looks like there's a panic retreat right there. And the Obsolots goes down. That's a Vet 5 Obsolots. That is a massive loss. The Vekana Warfare also goes down. That is actually a bit of a loss. It was a Vet 3 Vekana Warfare. Now he only has to rely on his tanks for anti-vehicle damage. Because of Foos now coming on in, this could be nasty. Destroys one of the bunkers. Does do quite a bit of damage. The OKW player is has lost quite a bit of units. Though he does have the VP advantage, he could go ahead and secure this uh, point and have the MG34 cover it. This gate could still go either way. But now with the Sukuzafus, no KW player could just sit back and start uh, shelling his opponent every minute or so. How long is the cooldown again? It's like, actually like 90 seconds. This thing is halfway done, so I think it's every 120 seconds. A spot a landmine right there. He's also deploying his own shoe mine. Yoko Dove player has been using his munitions quite uh quite good because it's sort of hard to use munitions for this uh, commander, believe it or not. The squad's gone. One less infantry section squad will help out in the end. You also have early warning being fired. Oh, he swept that mine. He didn't actually uh, clean it up. This sh uh, shoe mine can be very hard to spot, even with minesweepers. Does uh, spot that one. Does clean it up as well. As I was saying before, it can be quite hard to see the shoe mine. There's a limb on top of it as well. Oh, I really don't know if this limb's client side or not. That's definitely not. It's definitely a destroyed item. Like you can not use it as cover. <laughs> we got a marker flare concentrated fire operation on top of the mechanized HQ. This Panzer four, oh, almost went down. Sukzafus, move the AT guns. It's going to be a large miss. Oh, the Sukasafus goes down to the Comet tank. That is not good. The OKW player is losing quite a bit of uh, units. One of our anti -tank guns is gone. Heat round does come on in, but rolls a bounce. Entry hit there by the six pounder, and there goes the Panzer IV. This looks like the end of the game for the OKW player. He can't lose the Panzer IVs. He's just lost too many units. He does throw out a frag there. I think that was automatic frag throw because it's a veteran C3, but he even calls in a sexton. The sexton can help pitch in more damage on this HQ. And I really don't think the Okido player has anything more left in him. He has a vet 4 Panzer 4, but one Panzer 4 is not going to cut it versus a Comet. The Comet's also a veteran C3. We could potentially see a Gammon bomb there, but 
He's gonna let the tank can destroy it. Once again, I am for that HQ. <laughs> it's not gonna go down anytime soon. We do have a Vakenwarfer on the build queue, or now deployed. He's lacking, the Okadova player is lacking a lot of items. He does have the 223 set up on the munitions point. Uh, he really needs fuel. A standard point probably would have been better than the munitions point. It'll of course give him a bit of fuel and munitions. He does not complete that booby trap. White phosphorus there, but it looks like that was a large miss to say the least. Heat rounds does roll a bounce there. Vakenwerfer is here, does roll another. Ah, the smoke here is preventing the line of sight. Rolls a miss, rolls a bounce. Both sides two shots away from death, but the Panzer IV is at Factory 5, of which I believe it gets a little bit more health now. I'm not sure what level of Vectricity, but I'm pretty sure one of the levels of Vectricity for the Panzer IV gains like a little bit more health, allowing it to survive a fourth shot. But I don't see it. Maybe I'm wrong. Two of the cannon warfers are deployed out, so he does have a lot of AT. And he does have some tickets to play with. Another squad of Ops at is a definitely good idea. Sexton, however, now barraging on in. You got a booby trap on the victory point. One of the six pounders does penetrate. There's way too many infantry sections here. The old, the uh, Volksgrindeers cannot win out. Panzer IV does get some nice shots in. Six pounders are trying to gauge the Panzer IV, but doesn't was unable to. The Schum pioneers need to start repairing the Panzer IV immediately. Concentrated fire operation barrage. Yes, we do have that being called on in. Looks like we do got a bounce and a miss. They have a penetrating shot there. Comtake's not going to move on forward. There are two Vikanaworfers in the area, but that's one penetrating shot. Vikanaworfers are facing the wrong direction as well. And there goes the Panzer IV, and that's pretty much end game. And that is the end of the replay. This is Adrian saying thank you for watching and signing off.